Rebound Garland. Now the clock working against Utah. Good looks, though. I mean, you can't question the looks. Jazz are moving the ball. Got the right guy shooting the ball. And Lowry marking him. Just can't get it to go. Two minutes left to Jazz. 27% from three. They've hit nine of 34. Garland off his foot. And it's going to be turnover. Jazz ball with a minute 52 to play. And the Jazz. That's a clutch turnover there. Jazz have hit just three shots in this quarter. Three of 22. That equals 14%. Clarkson went into the paint, now he backs out. Time a factor. Takes the three. No. Ball is out of bounds. They'll say it's off the Cavs, so the Jazz will have it back. 14 on the clock. Seconds left to get what they want. Kessler. The Mike looks inside, holds the ball, now fires it over to Clarkson. Shot clock at seven. Three balls away. Leans in. JC takes a tumble after the make. Hmm. Let's see if this meets the criteria for a flagrant foul. Well, they're saying that this meets the criteria for a flagrant foul because the space of JC was invaded by. The rule on the floor is a flagrant one. The offensive player will have two shots to make one. And then take the ball out. Free throw line extended. Shot clock will be at 24. Stands behind the three-point line. And on the stage is JC for one. Good. Mike Conley. Looks inside. Back out to Clarkson. JC. Plenty of time. 12 on the shot clock. Three balls up. Fouled again behind the arc. The guy is a magician. <laughs> he is. He certainly is. And I tell you what, he's got great sleight of hand. More important, I like the look in Jordan Clarkson's eye right now. He wants this. Well, JB Bickert coming off the screen. JC feels the bump. If any contact was a better angle right here. Let's Ran see. up his back oh, right there. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Ran up his back. Kessler. Clarkson. High socks at the knees. Span. That's just amazing. And JC has dropped 30 on the Cavs. Now, the work, now the work begins, Bowler. Over the top. Three. No. Rebound. Marketing 15 boards and the Jazz under a minute to go with the ball and up by two. You like drama? You got it. Yes, you do. I'm strapped in over here. Oh, it's buckle up night and SLC Clarkson floater. The magic man does it again. 32. Bounds finds its way to the Jazz with 31 seconds to play. Remarkable. All accountability from Jordan Clarkson. He sent a message. Donovan, you were great here, but this is my town now. Siegfried and Jensen helping injured people in Utah now for over 30 years. The ball is inbounded. Beasley foul. It's a 32. Look at the for Utah. Mitchell needs someone to come back and help him on the inbound. Look for him to get it right back and probably not give it up unless the Jazz blitz him. No way. Leans in for three. Up and out. Marking another Rackful guy's out. Finds a way. Jazz players that they can perform and compete with the very best. In the East, the Jazz trying to work their way back into playoff discussion. A 13-row run over one minute and three seconds. That breaks the run on that layup by Garland. They pressure the backcourt. On the inbounder. They just need to throw it up to Lowry. Lecker. Will inbound. They find Clarkson finally. They triple team him. The ball comes loose. Donovan to the rack and drops it home. Finally, another inbound. Second one. Good. Inbound. 
You know it's going to try to find Mitchell. Finally does. Out front, a quick hitter over J.C. Threes up out. There it is. Rebound. Ball's loose. Mitchell again. Hit the three with a tenth of a second. Inbounded. It's over. Beasley and the Jazz fight off the Cavaliers despite 46 from Donovan. Well, again, if if you wanted a scenario and you're a Donovan Mitchell fan, you're okay if he has a good night, but the Jazz come up with a well-earned victory, a team victory, and that's really the only way the Jazz can beat a lot of teams is if they work together. You see Donovan having a conversation with the rookie. Giving them some pointers on how to have a successful career. Clarkson, short of magnificent, in fact, more than. Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> Down that stretch run, my boy. Clutch free throws. Nikhil, Donovan sharing a moment. You know, it's like a fraternity. And T, you know this as well as anyone, the locker room. It's kind of where it all begins. Maybe Tom Brady, that's why he can't walk away. Yeah, it's, it's tough to cut the cord, you know, when, when not only do you get games like this, but you get what happens after the game, right? These kind of things right here are just so important in the game.